you know, black folks, basically, with more evidence here today that we know that we got super giants up there and material out there more than just the sun. Is we're going to show you this fresh shot here, and basically, what I'm going to do is we're going to be down here. I'm going to be hitting the step forward and the step back, and we'll slide back up, and you'll see what's going on up here. Now, as you see, all the area around the sun that puts off light has got the yellow coloring to it, correct? Okay. Now, we know they overlay. We hope they don't airbrush. We hope that they just basically put yellow pigment on bright color out, uh, light, basically, out in space. As far as we know, we hope that that's what they do. It usually looks very realistic. We know that there's layers and layers and layers, but we'll see what bleeds through in this right-hand corner up here. Watch. I think I will be able to go ahead and step forward one shot. I might have it in the wrong position, but we're going to have... Uh, that's interesting also there, too. i just seen that now. If we, but I'm going to step forward again. Now, you can always freeze and go back and watch the video and go back to the, whatever was there. Okay, now I'm going to hit... Uh, and go ahead and step a couple times and see if I was going the wrong direction, which I was. Now this comes in, I'm gonna be able to reverse one more and then I'll be able to come in on that object that comes in. Now you, you see that light there? Okay, that is not the sun's light. That is something from the super giants, okay? That basically is bleeding through and you can imagine the electrical static, and that's what I've been saying is, I know that there's major distance between whatever the other Rigel Kentaurus be or whatever, but as you see on this one, it bleeds through. Uh, and I appreciate everybody when they send what they say on the videos, but unless I have something really good, and then also you, even down here on the time, you can see that bleed through. Now let's go ahead and see even on the date and time there, we'll go ahead and, uh, so you can, as you see, we know that there's static electrical out now. We do know, I'm just, just being, you know, actual factual here, okay, and then I'll go ahead and back back up and see that we're getting that light there, okay. Now, I didn't notice that earlier. i just seen that right now as we were videotaping, okay. So, go back up there and we'll see that huge object because you can imagine the size of that when it came by. And as you see there, clear, I'm going to go back down and lost track of, but I think, there it is, that came in. Okay, now that is a huge, now... I'm not arguing with anybody, okay? It could have came off the sun, could have came off the super giants. No matter what, it's flat and it's huge. So let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Now that is humongous. Get a dictionary out and get the largest damn crap you're going to see because besides the meatball, because that is pretty much flat and you can pretty much tell by when we see the triangulation and the static electrical between planets and i.e. there's a study that's basically showing a lot more planets now we've already known that there's planets out there that have electrical signals on it if you've been studying space for a long time or been paying attention to it for years nasa and down in uh i think it's peru or puerto rico where we have the with a lot of different nations i think it's either that or it's down in brazil chile somewhere we have the huge uh listening to space okay so we do know that there's electrical signals out there now that's not a, this possibly connection electrical signals between planets and stars out there okay and basically i.e. what we see here and we always see that triangulation and stuff like that okay but that is huge and wavy so that is very interesting blown up at a thousand okay so anyway we'll we'll go back down to the 400 or so so that we can show you and slide over to the date so you know that I'm not playing with you. And there's some I, there's some very good example of triangulation electrical static. And then we know that what's been going on in the sun and stuff like that. Factual, actual. Okay, and then we'll uh, slide back down here. And then we'll, I think I'm going in the right direction to either that or I backed up and cleared out. So anyway, if I cleared out or not, you're getting that light energy from the right on that shot. And we'll step one more. And whatever direction I went, you can see the clock. I wasn't paying attention to the clock. But you can see that energy, so well, then we'll hit reverse and we'll step. You get that electrical energy up there, which basically light through space, okay, from outside. And there you go. There's that object. And I think if we just keep going and we just step again, we will get, I believe, that electrical energy. I'm like, what direction am I going here? We had that, so basically we're back to that interesting triangulation and electrical energy there, the flat line and spike in, and then it's not, we've seen that in smaller hairs, but that's huge if you realize the size of the sun. So we'll go back like three, 
and you can back up the video too and then I'll back up one more and you'll see that light from something else besides just the sun and it's huge okay it's a light and electrical energy because it's not a CME that blew off the sun there as you see all those frames that we just went back because I just went tap tap one two three frames okay and then you got that there too and then that goes away too so and then let's go ahead and go to uh, what do I got here loaded up here plop this up you get CME action here I'm not sure if they're hiding the uh, and as you see the the ant the mass 50 I think it is mass five something five oh it's, it's something one of the masses five to 48 or something like that and it shows up really good and it's right there to the right of the Sun Sun doesn't like that so uh, more of that you know it's not some as you see because it's just shows up and it's layers of shots some shots and it shows up on and some shots it doesn't show up let's blow up on that so anyway there you go you get a really good image of it and the action of that up there because we know it's there you've seen it on lots of my videos and it's pretty good evidence that it This really does kind of look like it moves in and moves back. But then once again, it's layers. So I'll go ahead and see if we get lucky on a pause button and pause it. Well, how big do I got it? Well, anyway, there you go. So I'll zoom back out. Oh, I had it. Did I have it at a thousand? Okay. So we'll go down to see if we can. Uh, we'll see if we can freeze and catch that again so you know that it's really, really there. Then I'll go back up on the shot. Boom. And it's not in that frame. So we'll step. I don't even know if I'm going forward or backwards. And we'll step it again. And it's not there. We'll step it again. See if it comes in on this layer. Like I say, it's all layers. And then there you go. It's in on that layer. So it's there. And basically in this here, it sure looks like it's ahead when you freeze it. So we'll pop back up to 1,000. And you see some interesting stars up here to the right too. In that shot there that I freeze to get that layer. And so you basically as you see it, that more than likely that's more towards us. And this is off of A ahead. So... You figure your angle out by looking at your plots on on looking for beacon. Go to beacon and get a map for the day for that day on the 30th and see where Earth would be and how the direction what you'd be looking from a, a ahead and be looking at the sun. And then there's some more awesome objects up there by the sun. I mean, it's just it's crowded out there, folks. I mean, there's masses distances between all that stuff, like I'm saying, but it's crowded. And I got this at 100, and I don't think it's playing. I don't think I can hit play. And we'll see what we get there for action. Here we go, play at four at four hundred percent, I think, off of B. They're saying I think they got this mixed up, but anyway, there's Pluto. So, uh, and basically, the way I reason I say that this is mixed up is because Pluto should be out the Earth's back door, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so if they're saying that that's Pluto uh, and looks very large, doesn't Pluto? Because Pluto is way the hell out. You can research Pluto, go to anything, and I know that Pluto Pluto is out Earth's back door. And Pluto, remember how small it is? And remember how they told us, well, Pluto is so damn small that it's not even considered a planet anymore? They want us to forget about Pluto, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Pluto, I still think, is bigger than what they have tried to brainwash us down to, thinking it's smaller than what it is. So Pluto might be another one, like I was saying, like the moons on Saturn to be keeping an eye on. So they picked out Pluto right there. You can't miss it. So, and thanks, Sechi and NASA, for blowing up and showing up the names on stuff, okay? So that's pretty much behind, and then basically I'll just pop down in size here, and you'll get a good idea of what's going on out there. And they're saying that's off B, so I'm not going to screw around. That's off of B, folks. And then they, you see that that's Pluto up there, and it's looking damn large, Pluto is. And as you can see, whatever that planet there has got a ring around it, whichever planet that would be. So whatever planet that's new and interesting right there, has got a ring and these are all planets out there either that or stars and so forth even in cme reacting to the <coughs> cme coming off the sun so one's got a ring there and you're, you're going to know in a minute because watch this because the huge cme is here off the sun on this shot 
and we'll get up to like 200 I'll pop up real fast and you got Venus Mars Mercury so very interesting planet interesting planet there on the other side with now don't get me wrong angles and stuff like that maybe it is and basically I'm not remembering if Mercury is supposed to have a ring around it or not but we proved that Mercury, what was it, Mercury or Mars a long time ago in one of my videos. So watch all my videos because when we got a CME blast, we ended up seeing a ring around, uh, I believe it was Mercury or Mars. Since they start with them, I'm a little bit, I'm just joking, confused. I'm not confused of separating them, but when you look, watch all the videos on them and stuff like that, I just load up the data. So, and as you see, Mercury and Venus get a huge CME reactive flare to and that's being Mars so then realistically folks an angle behind this could be Earth here okay that could be Earth right there okay and how we are getting protected by other planets from those CMEs those massive CMEs now I believe it was Mars or Mercury either either that was going to get a direct CME hit and I'll go to Solar Otters real fast and we'll be able to remember who, what the heck that was so I really think that you pretty much guessingly wise it takes just two years to go from here to Mars right now in space so that curiosity is going up there so I would pretty much guess that that's probably Earth right there okay where my pointer was at that's probably Earth because they got that listed as Mars next to it and Venus and that's pretty much what we should be as a V directly behind Venus and Mercury so that, check out all that CME action folks that we're luckier than heck the way the planets are lined up where we are hiding out like a rabbit in a hole ladies and gentlemen big bangs ladies and gentlemen okay because there's the meatball too you get a good shot of the meatball. Let me go ahead and freeze the meatball there so everybody kind of understand that. We'll get ready. We'll, there, you can see it pretty good there. So if people are coming in here new to videos, the people say, hey, go check that out. And then we'll hit reverse too and see if we get some good looks at the meatball as uh, it's getting closer to the sun in the supergiants and they don't like it. And there's big darkness of it. And then that answers a lot of people's questions right there. I'll go back to forward and the meatball is a meatball and there's not that many planets and stars when you get more of a, a good look at the meatball. So more than likely it seems like the meatball is going towards H1A because stuff is starting to disappear between here and the meatball there. As you get that shots there you see that big darkness and then there's the big blast and I'll back that up. There's the big darkness and we know I'm backing it up again and there you know that the meatball is there. So we're really safe because we're way back here hiding out in a hole and the meatball and all these other planets sure seem like they sure the hell help us by not getting the massive direct on of that solar CME right there because I'll hit play folks. That's going back to the sun. That's from the reverse. And then we'll, I believe, get the CME action off the sun. There you go. Factual, actual. Love every branch of the military and thank you, Sechi, Soho, Beacon, Navy. All branches, the U.S. military, they get us these shots out of space. Actual, factual, thousand percent. Awesome stuff. I had this loaded up, so we'll just let this play real fast. You'll get a day's worth of action here. Maybe like 200, I think. I'm not going to mess up too much. Now, if you go back when I first hit play, if you watched too, there was a huge object right up here right by the sun right there and there's a CME that keeps on popping at whatever the heck is sitting there right there there's something it seems like to be to me my eyesight anyway so anyway that's your sun going ape shit okay and that's pretty much a day worth of play right there 24 hours real fast and then I'll cut out of here or whatever time they give us there. I think that's pretty much it. it. should be enough for you. So if you realize the angles and stuff like that, that these are all correct then. Uh, and basically there's Pluto, folks, out the back door of Earth. And realize because that bee is way behind all the meatball in here and everything, and then Earth's here like this, and then the meatball and Pluto are all out the back door there. So massive distances, and that's how huge that that big meatball is. It takes up all that room, and it seems like it protects Earth and all these planets somewhat from the huge CMEs, ladies and gentlemen. Sure looks like it protects us.